Hello guys and girls, it is I, Aaron Halo 18 here, and I'm making a video all today outside in the front yard, and my van is behind me, and I'm going to do a review on Star Trek Beyond, the movie that I saw at 1.50 on uh, Thursday, not uh, three days ago, um, and uh, I wrote a little review to my friend uh, uh, Kevin. Uh, I think Kevin covered you. And I really liked the movie. I gave this film a 8 out of 10. And the story was pretty uh, good. And it was kind of funny too. And it had the same actors and no Benedict uh, cover uh, batch of uh, this one uh, around. The Enterprise had a surprise attack by outer space forces, and the ship crash landed on a mysterious world. The attack came from Krell, a lizard like dictator who derives his energy by sucking the life out of his victims. Krell needs an ancient and valuable artifact that's aboard the badly damaged starship. Uh, starship. Left it left stranded in a rugged wilderness. Uh, Kirk, Spock, and the rest of the crew must now battle a deadly alien race. It's why I try to find a way off their hostile uh, planet. And, uh, the Asian guy was gay on this uh, uh, Star Trek movie. Uh, I guess he had a special one scene where he had like a husband and a daughter. So uh, I, I, I guess. And uh, the, the visual effects were pretty good in this movie uh, as well. And, and the story was okay. It was, I just gave it an 8 out of 10 to... It was a fun uh, afternoon uh, movie to go see. I saw it at the Elisa Vejo uh, IMAX uh, 3D, uh, I believe. That's a theater near uh, where I live, and uh, yeah, I really did enjoy this movie. I think people should go uh, go see it. And I don't want to spoil it uh, too much for you uh, there, guys and girls. But, uh, but it, the... It has, and they also rebuilt the Enterprise ship at the end of this movie, and the guy who played Scotty um, died, uh, I think. He's not alive anymore. They'll have to replace Scotty with a different actor if they ever do another Star Trek movie. And they had a tribute to the old Spock who died, uh, and they showed a picture of the old crew in this movie as well, uh, and, and stuff like, like, like that. And, I guess the, the old Spock was a, like an ambassador, but he died in this, uh, he, was, he died in the movie. And, and, uh, Zachary Quentin, Quinto is the new Spock, uh, for this. And this is, uh, the, the third installment of the prequel, uh, movies to the Kirk, uh, storyline. Uh, and, uh, I'm not really a Trekkie fan or anything, but uh, I just enjoyed the movie and and there it was action packed uh, as well too. And it was kind of, it kind of, kind of kind of a little loud in, in the theater uh, though. I sometimes get too I get scared easily when it gets too loud or something. But uh, other than that, it was pretty good. And uh, Chris Pine is the captain. And the uh, Zoe Sonata was in it, uh, too. And of course, it, it had attractive women in it, uh, as, as well. I only had one attractive person in it, uh, though not. And, uh, Chris Pine is a funny actor. I enjoy his movies. I always enjoy these kind of movies. And I used to think the, the Into Darkness, Star Trek Into Darkness, the second one was, was uh, better than this one. Even though I, even though uh, Benedict kind of freaked me out of that uh, last Star Trek movie, I don't know. 
I get, I'm silly like that. I get freaked out easily. I, I don't know why. I just wanted to do a review on what my thoughts and opinions on uh, this movie. And the, my next uh, movie to go see is uh, Jason Bourne. And uh, and my breathing was really good uh, last Thursday. And I also went to CM, uh, Santa Beck, uh, CM at College Ministry for um, Santa Beck Church in uh, Lake Forest. Uh, I guess that I met, that I met some, I met four new friends uh, there and I even talked to a girl uh, there uh, as well. I think her name was Jillian or something like that. Yeah, Jillian. Uh, Jillian. Uh, what was her name? And uh, sorry about my dad's little, he likes to, inter he likes to correct me in the middle of making my videos. And uh, I don't know why, but this is my video and this is my show. I want to entertain you guys. And uh, I'm going to do movie reviews for all the movies I see from now on. And uh, I, I, I guess it was pretty, pretty uh, cool. I'm always trying to make new friends. and I was kind of depressed and lonely over the couple of weeks. But now I'm good for now. And sorry I haven't been doing the videos for a while. But I'm back. I, I should be doing this more often. Sorry that I'm not uh, out there doing more videos for you. Uh, to enjoy, guys. And I just wanted you to see the movie. Uh, it was a really fun movie. It was a good afternoon. Go see it. I, I enjoyed it. And there's a lot in the movie. I, I don't want to explain every detail because then it will spoil the movie. And I don't want that for you. So, please, uh, could you, uh, please go see this movie as soon as possible. It was a pretty badass movie, uh, uh, to me anyway, and, uh, I, I don't know why I gave it 8 or 10, I, I just, it, it was kind of cheesy and I was like lame a little bit, but it was still a fun afternoon, and, uh, I just wanted to let you know about that, and I don't know what else to say about the movie, uh, I hope they make another one, uh, soon, and I can't wait for the next Mark I see all the big hit movies and the theater and stuff uh, like that. Uh, I just do. I'm, I'm a, a Jason Bourne uh, fan uh, as well. And of course, I'm a superhero fan and, and all that. And I can't wait for all the upcoming movies to come out. And, and uh, let me know in the comments down below what you thought about the movie and what your interest are in this movie and you can probably uh, let me know what, what what the name of the hostile planet was in this uh, movie I don't know any of the all I know is the Captain Kirk uh, crew and the Enterprise that's all I know about Star Trek I'm not a Trekkie like those other knuckleheads out there uh, and, uh, and and I just like the prequels and these, these are the ones that I like I didn't like the William Shatner ones too much. Kind of, I didn't like the Captain Picard ones either that much. Uh, but this one was the Chris Pine ones are, are the best, uh, I think. Anyway, that's just my opinion. And uh, yeah, I enjoy movies big time. I'm a fan of movies. Of course, I'm a fan of video games, TV shows, all kinds of stuff. Not really. I'm not really picking that picky. The only uh, the only ones I don't like are Tim Burton or Johnny Depp. That kind of, those kind of movies I don't care for. So I, but other than that, every other movie's fine with me. And I don't like uh, chick flicks that much either. And uh, not uh, dramas are okay, but I don't like them that much. They're all right. And. Uh, that I and I keep uh, acting like I'm in, a, I'm in a hurry or something I like that and I, I hope Suicide Squad it will be a good movie and Jason Bourne I hope those I think those will be good they're IMAX movies there's some gardening going on uh, back there don't mind the noises uh, back there uh, guys and girls and uh 
and uh, I'm running out of thoughts and things to say about the movie. I'm not down with anything. I wish that Asian guy wasn't gay in that in a, in a movie. I wish he wasn't. That's why I kind of gave it an 8 out of 10. Because I'm not really a fan of the gay community uh, or anything like that. There's nothing against them or anything. I just don't believe in that lifestyle. I'm a Christian and, and uh, love should be between a woman and a man. That's what I believe. And, uh, and please don't argue or debate with me on this. That's just my opinions. I just, I don't know. It's a sin and an abomination to God. I think so. Gay is an abomination to God. That is what I'm trying to say. And, uh, And I kind of don't like it when they say uh, G damn or uh, Jesus Christ or anything like, like that. I mean, I don't know. Seems to me like nowadays, all these movies and shows have a lot of gay and sex and murder and language and all that nowadays. I don't know why they need that stuff, but I, I guess it's because they're trying to accommodate the world, uh, the issues in the world and stuff. They're trying to make it realistic, is, is all, I think. Uh, and, uh, it doesn't really bother me, though, but, no, the only, the gay thing bothers me, though, but everything else, now. Nah. I play all kinds, of, like, all kinds of M-rated games with all that language and stuff in it. And, uh, and, uh, I'm, and, uh, I'm still upset that, my parents won't let really me watch radar uh, films. And, uh, can't wait for Suicide Squad to come out. I'll definitely do a movie party for that one. When it comes out, I guess. I'll try to, anyway. And I, I hope my dad will let me do it. And, uh, I just wanted to do a review on the Star Trek Beyond. I don't know why they call it Star Trek Beyond. It's the same Doctor uh, guy in the movie as well. Uh, Bones and stuff. There's a lot of sarcasm in, in the movie as well. And there's a new alien girl had black and white colors in her body and clothes. And, uh, and there was a, a, another ship on the planet that was there for 100, over 100 years called uh, USS Franklin, uh, I believe. And... Uh, And, uh, yeah, I'm sorry I spoiled it. Uh, and they rescued their Enterprise crew from, uh, Krill and his forces. They're like, literally like aliens. But Krill was actually, uh, played by, uh, uh Indres Imla. Uh, I believe. And he was, uh, he started off to be human. And then he became an alien. Uh, in the movie as well. And, and I don't know what device they want to use as weapon. That's like a nano knight type weapon thing. It, it killed one of the Enterprise crew in the movie, uh, uh, as well as Long Chamber. The planet had like buildings and stuff, and air like the the forces, the people who are in charge of the Enterprise crews and stuff. I don't know. What, what it's called or anything. The Federation. It's called the Federation, I guess. And, uh, yeah. That's the movie uh, for you. Go see it. I give it a uh, two thumbs up. Uh, I mean, not two thumbs up, but... You know what I mean. Uh, an 8 out of 10. And, uh, please rate, comment, like, favorite, thoughts, opinions, uh, views and favorites. I hope you liked it. And enjoyed it for your viewing pleasure guys and girls, and uh, as always, uh, stay tuned for more. And like Los Romo says, free to drink some hot chocolate. And I'll see you all later. And this is Aaron Halo 18 signing off. Goodbye, you all. Goodbye, guys and girls.